angel is saying to you, Father God, thank you for loving us unconditionally, for being with us who believe and thank you for coming to the world to rescue us from destruction, to make us white as snow, to be set free and forgiven with you. O oh God, we can face whatever the future will hold. Your love was shown when you came to earth as a human so we could get to know you, learn to trust you, and love you back. You became a human being so we could understand what you really like. Thank you for creating us in your image and for the given ability to enjoy a personal relationship with you. You took the initiative to send Jesus so we could understand your love and our need for you. Father, thank you that by observing your creation like nature, we can know that your love has many colors and is wonderful. You created a fantastic world, and our words are not enough to describe all. We can see those things in the different kinds of plants and flowers, animals, rock formations, and by just looking at stars at night, the ever-changing colors of sunrises and sunsets, the rainbow or the northern light, in snowflakes, raindrops, and people. Thank you that each one is unique in every season, even in things that our eyes could not see and feel with our hands. And by just surveying the course of every system in our bodies and the things that you created around us, we can see that you are powerful and organized and that you love beauty. Thank you for giving us taste buds to enjoy the food, for eyes to perceive colors and to read, for ears to hear from you, each other, and heavenly music, for hands to create and feet to go places. Thank you for the capacity to enjoy everything that you have given. Thank you for loving us unconditionally, in our bad or good days. When we don't feel love or when we do, you love us regardless of our performances, our moods, our actions, or our thoughts. And you love us enough to discipline and correct us. Thank you for being just. Father, may we love you back as you deserve. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, Holy Father, our Redeemer, our Shepherd, the Great I Am the only true God, our rock who keeps us safe, the creator of everything. Thank you that you take good care of your creations. And may each one of us, Father, receive your offer of forgiveness and make you our Savior and Lord. Thank you for removing the guilt of our sins like the wind blows away the clouds. When we turn to you, you rescue us and forgive us from our trespasses. And as your children, I thank you that you help us in times of need. You encourage us with your words when the going gets tough. You send people along the way to mold us as you want us to be. Thank you for choosing us and the promise that you will pour the living water into us when we are thirsty. And our dry grounds will be streams of water. Thank you that you also promise that you will pour your Spirit into our descendants and will also bless them, that you will not forget us. Holy Father, I thank you that because we belong to you and you are our source, we are like willow trees beside a river. We will not wither no matter what the circumstances are around us. Father God, as you listen to us 24-7, I pray that we will be aware of your presence every moment of our lives, no matter where we are, what we do, or going through. I pray that our mouths will proclaim what you have done and tell the people the truth about you. Make us bold so that we will not shake in fear. In fact, let us sing aloud with joy and shout as loudly as we can, and thank you that we have reason to be happy, because you have redeemed us. Help us then, Lord, to build upon the foundation that you started for us. Do not let us have or make idols in our lives, because you said that those people who make idols are fools, 
and the images that they make are useless, and they became blind and could not see the truth, and those who working with them will be embarrassing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, Father God. We are bombarded by this world to think this and that, to desire things for short-time pleasures, things that look enticing but lead to the death of body, soul, and spirit. And because we live in this world, it is not easy to avoid being influenced. But then again, Father, thank you for the reminder from your word in Proverbs 4.23, you said to be careful how we think. So help us to work on our mindsets. Help us to see ourselves and the people we encounter every day with your understanding, mercy, and just eyes. Help us to see our problems as a tool to put our trust in you, who is the problem solver. Open our eyes to see who you really are. All-powerful and loving God, remind us every day that good thoughts lead to good habits and good choices. Do not let us meditate on bad thoughts, because they lead us to unhealthy habits and shameful behaviors. Do not let us sabotage our lives by the way we think and act. For you said, For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 7. Merciful God, help us to choose rightly what to think about, because everything starts with a thought. Make us the persons that reflect you, God. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, dearest Father. I thank you for loving us first. You who are the Alpha and Omega, nothing we can do or plan in terms of your kind of love that does not originate from you. Help us, Lord, to initiate your kind of love in our everyday life, to create, to give, to sacrifice, to save, to forgive, to help, to encourage, to show grace and compassion, and to guide where they are needed and with the resources that you provide every moment of time. And if we do lack anything, I pray that we come to you to be filled and not to seek happiness or pleasures in this world. Do not let our eyes lose their focus on you and your living word, despite our busyness or the cravings of our flesh. Thank you for your unconditional love for your patience towards us who tend to sin in thoughts and in deeds. Thank you for the forgiveness of sins when we repent. Holy Spirit, help us to live a godly life, a life that is lived in God's love. Let your love flow freely to each one of us. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, dearest Father in heaven. I thank you that no matter what my ancestors did, good or bad, still you used each one of them to accomplish your purpose. I was born and like them. I did things that were not right in your eyes. But still, I thank you for washing me clean and can also use me as a tool for your kingdom. I just pray, O oh God, that I will obey you no matter how hard the task might seem. I pray that your work will be seen in my life that my life will show a repented kind of life, that sin will no longer rule over me. I thank you that with you I can bear much fruit. The enemy is always lurking around me to tempt me with all worldly things, but I thank you, Lord, for giving me your powerful words to defeat the enemy. I pray that I will hunger for your word daily, eat, digest, and live after it. Jesus, I thank you that you came to this murky world to dispel the darkness, to give hope to the hopeless, courage for those who are timid, strength for the weak, salvation for the lost, forgiveness for the sinners, to purify those who come to you from all unrighteousness. I thank you that having you as Savior and Lord will provide life to each one's dying body and soul. By following you, we can also be fishers of men. Be your healing hands wherever you send us. I pray for every heart to be committed to you, O God. I pray in your name. Amen, dearest amazing God. 
our Creator and Redeemer. I pray that we will put you first more than anything else in our lives, more than ourselves, our possessions, and our resources. Let us give you the honor that you deserve in all that we have and everything that you do. Thank you that you are a powerful God. Your word can change our life circumstances to fulfill your perfect plan for each one of us. For that reason, help us not to doubt your steadfastness. Thank you that you make your plans be manifested in our lives. Form our thoughts, O oh God, so that they will be godly. Work through our hands so that you can reach the needy, the helpless, and the lost. Speak through us so that we can comfort weary and hurting souls. Make our lives as living witnesses to everyone we meet. Be the salt and light to this dying world. Thank you that you watch over us who obey you. You keep us alive in every season that we are going through. You are our protector and help. Bless your holy name, O God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey Jesus, thank you for the gift of another Monday, the breath inside my lungs, the people surrounding me, the fresh mercy you provide everything. It's too numerous to count. As I mentally prepare for my week, my peace is planted in the truth that you will be with me every step of the way. It is my confidence. Will you help me discern what is good and necessary for this season? If anything is too heavy or ill-fitting for today's climb, take it from me. I want to be able and available. Traveling lightly brings you glory. Thank you for the interactions and conversations that will grace my path today. May my words be seasoned with salt and my actions radiate the light of being close to you. You will help me shine. I receive your grace over all my yesterdays and your provision for all my tomorrows. Releasing my striving, abundance comes. I yearn to live with a heart of joy and a spirit of gratitude. I'm not waiting for my next vacation. I am embracing this place. You are so kind, Father. You move mountains for your people. You give and you love. Based on who you are, not who we are. My eyes are set on you. In Jesus' name, amen. What if God couldn't take the time to bless us today because we couldn't take the time to thank Him yesterday? What if God decided to stop leading us tomorrow because we didn't follow Him today? What if we never saw another flower bloom because we grumbled when God sent the rain? What if God didn't walk with us today because we failed to recognize it as His day? What if God took away the Bible tomorrow because we would not read it today? What if God took away His message because we failed to listen to His messenger? What if God didn't send His only begotten Son because He wanted us to prepare to pay the price of sin? What if God stopped loving and caring for us because we failed to love and care for others? What if God would not hear us today because we would not listen to Him yesterday? What if God answered our prayers the way we answered His call to service? What if God met our needs the way we give Him our lives? What if we failed to pass this message on? I chose you before the foundation of the earth to be my princess. You are royalty even when you don't feel like a princess. I will wait for you until you are ready to start living the amazing plans I have for you. I know you don't know where to begin or how to become what I've called you to be, so let me teach you day by day. Start by recognizing who I am, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the lover of your soul. When the two of us meet alone together every day, I will show you how to let go of the things in your life that are holding you back from the blessings I want to give you. Remember, my child, just as I have chosen you, I have given you a choice to represent me to the world. If you are willing, I am here to give you all you need to complete your calling. Dear God, 
I pray that I will keep in mind that I am created in your image and who I am in you, redeemed, cleansed, and purified. Help me to live my life like the one you created me to be. Thank you that I can reach you any time because you are so near as my breath. In fact, you live within my heart. You can feel my joy, pain, and longings. Thank you for being kind-hearted, holy, loving, just, gracious, sovereign, merciful, and forgiving. Thank you that you had printed my name in your book of life through the blood of Jesus Christ. You loved me, knew me, saved and chose me, designed with a unique purpose to serve your kingdom, to seek the lost and bring them to you to be saved. Thank you that I can base my life on you, the solid rock of all ages. I do not need to fear for the present and the future. I pray, Father, that I will see others with the lens of your eyes, to have a merciful and forgiving heart, to treat others with value, honor, and respect. And if I do get hurt and mistreated by other people, I pray that I will forgive and let the judging and revenge on you, because you are the one who is just. May I live my life with the right purpose and leave a godly legacy. To give as you had given, love as you loved, to be humble and always serving. Walking the narrow path is difficult. God, so I pray for help to navigate that path and just focus my eyes on you. May I always walk with faith no matter how challenging it is. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, Lord. I don't have answers right now. None of it makes sense. It feels unjust. I look up and wonder, how, why? But in the midst of tragedy, I remember times gone by, when you pulled me through and made good on your promise to walk each painful step with me. I remember how you met me in that place of breaking, where dreams were shattered and another day's breath felt impossible. You took my shattered pieces, collecting them in your loving hands. You knew I'd need the time as a part of the healing, allowing the shattered within me and trusting you to hold the pieces while I grieved. Cole 1 2022. Then piece by piece, you built something different, a new creation, a new spark of hope, hope that tomorrow's breath will come, Hope that laughter will return and joy will flow through my heart again. It will not replace the sorrow. It will not replace the loss. Yet, boldly, it will live alongside the pain in a way that far surpasses my understanding. Phil 4-7 Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for holding the shattered pieces and creating something new. Thank you for the gift of hope, Rom 15, 13. And thank you for filling my heart with the weapon of gratitude in the midst of pain. Lord, please keep my eyes firmly locked on you. Make me see beauty and blessing. Surround the ache in my heart with your joy. Bring laughter back to my spirit. Let my hope, gratitude, and joy be a witness and conduit of your power and love. Peace, 71, 15. 16. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, Lord Jesus. I come before you just as I am. I am sorry for my sins. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. In your name, I forgive all others for what they have done against me. I renounce Satan, the evil spirits, and all their works. I give you my entire self, Lord Jesus, now and forever. I invite you into my life, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord, God, and Savior. Heal me, change me, strengthen me in body, soul, and spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, cover me with your precious blood and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I love you, Lord Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I shall follow you every day of my life. Amen. Mary, my mother. Queen of Peace, St. Peregrine, the Cancer Saint, 
All you angels and saints, please help me. Amen. As the sun goes down, the day settles. If only our hearts did the same. Instead, they often pound and fret with unanswered prayers and unexpected situations, with latent fears and lingering frustrations. Weary and worn, we cave to our concerns, letting them snuff out the blessings that had been sprinkled throughout the previous hours. Remembrances of the radiant smiles and warm hugs dim, the caress of the sun fades away. Accomplishments and pleasures of the day seem far away. O oh Lord, how readily we let the darkness invade, how quickly we retreat before its steady advance, how easily we exchange trust for worry. Help us, Lord. As the day wanes, gird our hearts, renew our minds, fill us with a peace that does not shrink in the face of fatigue or unwanted circumstances. Strengthen our faith in the wake of daily disappointments and future concerns. At the end of each day, remind us of your sovereignty and majesty, of your love and faithfulness. May we rest in the bed of your promises. In Jesus' name, amen we praise you, O Lord, that you have forgiven us of all our sins and that we are healed emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically by the blood of Jesus. Thank you that you have redeemed our life from the miry pit of hell and that you crown us with righteousness because of your great love and compassion. We remember and rejoice that we are a new creation in you and that the old is gone, that we have been restored and reconciled to live an abundant life of joy and peace in Christ Jesus. We surrender our health, finances, and relationships to you, trusting for complete healing so that you may be glorified through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for your grace in choosing us to fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, that you would love us and choose to die in our place, so we will never pay the eternal penalty of our crimes against you ourselves, and others. Equip us with the power, wisdom, and words to speak through the Holy Spirit to boldly proclaim your love as your ambassadors, since you want all to be saved. Help us not be selfish with our salvation, but to share fearlessly so that others may have hope, healing, peace, joy, and freedom to be who you created, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, Father God. Thank you for your peace, love, and faithfulness. We praise you for your undeserved favor that rests on us as your precious children. Thank you that we can trust you completely as we follow after you, knowing that every good and perfect gift comes from you and you want the very best for us. Sometimes we don't know what's best. So today we surrender to you and your plans that will prosper us and give us peace, hope, and a glorious future. We eagerly anticipate what you will do in our lives as we trust you in Jesus' faithful name. Amen. Thank you that we can stand firm against the devil's schemes, knowing that our salvation comes from a loving Father who gave his one and only Son to die in our place. As the helmet protects a soldier, please help us to protect our minds by thinking of the word, which is sharper than a double-edged sword, and is always true, right, and worthy of our time and devotion. Help us to hold every thought captive and cast down every lie and argument that sets itself up against the knowledge of you to make it obedient to Christ. We thank you for your protection that guards our heart and mind through the blood of Jesus poured out on our behalf. May we stand firm today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Almighty God, I come to you today because you are my refuge and my safe haven. The difficulties I'm facing and the troubles of this world are making life unbearable for me. Lord, 
I am weary, weak, and tired. Please send down your Holy Spirit to come and fuel me and restore my strength. I can't go on without you, Lord. I need you in my life. I need your strength. I need your power and your courage to move on in life. Help me to always look up to you and not worry about my problems. Help me to persevere and not give up on life. Give me the strength to keep fighting and most importantly, give me the patience to wait on you to change my story. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. Amen. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to reach 500 divine subscribers very soon. Please share this video to your loved ones. Type Amen to affirm. Thanks for watching.